Okay, now we will continue doing the ministry questions about inductance and capacitance in an AC circuit. The question number one, the capacitance of capacitor is 200 microfarad, so C is 200 microfarad, and the maximum potential difference on its ends is 150 volt, which is the maximum potential difference. The maximum value of the charge stored on the capacitor is equal to, so Q is the question, you know, Q calculated by uh, capacitance multiplied by potential difference. Because maximum charge is the question, so we have to multiply capacitance by maximum potential difference. Capacitance is microfarad, but microfarad must be converted to farad by multiplying 10 to the power of uh, negative 6, and we have to multiply uh, this capacitance by the potential difference 150 volts let's use the calculator 200 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 150 result is 0.03 so maximum charge stored in the capacitor is 0.03 coulomb correct answer is D Question number two, a capacitor of capacity impedance 25 ohm, so XC is 25 ohm, is connected across an AC source of frequency 100 divided by pi hertz. So frequency of the generator is uh, 100 divided by pi. What is the capacitance of the capacitor? So C is the question now. You know, XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi fc but uh, this equation calculates xc but now we have to calculate c not xc we have to uh, replace c and xc position um, uh, as a result of cross product so c is going to be 1 divided by 2 pi f xc so let's insert the numbers c is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi, we know, uh, 2 pi multiplied by f, f is 100 over pi, multiplied by xc is 25. So these pi's will simplify, then use the calculator, 1 divided by bracket, 2 times uh, 100 times 25, close the bracket, Result is going to be 2 times 10 to the power of 4. So C is equal to 2 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 4 farad. But the choices are given in microfarad. So we have to multiply this number by 10 to the power of uh, negative positive 6 because farad to microfarad. We have to multiply by 10 to the power of positive 6. So its result is going to be 2 times 10 to the power of 3, and 200 microfarad. So 200 microfarad A is the correct answer. We can charge a capacitor A under an AC voltage or DC voltage source, under a DC voltage source only, under an AC voltage source only, and could not be charged anyway. We need a DC voltage source uh, to charge a capacitor. Because uh, DC voltage always constant, uh, always positive, or always negative, so there is uh, only char uh, charging. But AC is uh, changing positive and negative, positive and negative. As positive part of AC charges the capacitor, negative part discharges, positive charges, negative discharges, and also this is changing so quickly in one second 50 times, a capacitor cannot have a chance completely charged. Uh, that's why a capacitor can be charged completely by using a DC voltage source only. Question number four, the capacitance of a capacitor is uh, 470 microfarad, so this is C, and the maximum potential difference on its ends is 50 volt. This is Vm. So maximum value of the charge stored on it is same uh, similar question to question number of one. So uh, question Q is equal to C times V. Because maximum charge is the question, we have to multiply C by maximum potential difference. C is 
470 microfarad, but microfarad must be converted to farad by multiplying 10 to the power negative 6 time maximum potential difference 50. So this calculator is 470 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 50 result is going to be 0.0235. So 0.0235 coulomb is the charge, maximum charge. So D is the correct answer. And question number five. An NAC source, which is a generator with an instantaneous potential difference, 12.56 uh, times sine 100 pi T, feeding a pure self-inductance with a maximum current of 0.8 ampere. So this is I maximum. What is the coefficient of self-induction? So L is the question. Uh, this is maximum potential difference. Or oh, generator's equation, remember, V max sine omega t. And this is omega, 100 pi is omega. So to calculate L, we need first to get XL, because XL can be calculated, uh, L is calculated by only XL. And uh, there are two methods for calculating XL. One of them is using the Ohm's law, Vm divided by Im. So first I am going to use this Ohm's law to calculate XL. After that, by the help of XL, I will calculate L. So let's get first XL by the Ohm's law. So XL is going to be maximum potential difference 12.56 divided by electric current is 0.8. So 12.56 divided by 0.8. So result is 15.7. So inductive impedance of this uh, coil is 15.7 ohm. Now I'm going to use the equation related to, uh, related to property of the capacitance, which is equal to omega times L. Because question is omega, I have to simplify omegas. So L is going to be L is going to be Xc divided by omega. Xc is 15.7. Omega is 100 pi. So now I am going to use calculator 15.7 divided by 100 pi. 100 times 3.14. Close the bracket. Answer is going to be 0.05. So 0 0.05 Henry is the answer. And question number six. An electric circuit consists of a pure self-inductor and an AC source only. The potential difference leads to current by a phase angle. Pi over two uh, is this. This is the uh, potential difference is leading the electric current by nine degrees, which is pi over two radian. Question number seven, the inductive impedance of a pure coil with a negligible resistance is 11 ohm. This is XL, inductive impedance. It's a pure coil, so R is zero. This pure coil is connected to an AC source of frequency, 50 hertz. What is its self-inductance? So L is the question. So we know that XL is equal to 2 pi F times L because L is the question I have to simplify 2 pi F that's why I have to divide both sides by 2 pi F then L is going to be XL divided by 2 pi F that is a certain number XL is 11 divided by 2 pi is 6.28 F is 50, close the bracket, and use calculator. 11 divided by 6.28 times 50, close the bracket. Answer is 0 0.035. So L is 0 0.035 Henry. C is the correct answer. Capacitive impedance XL is, X is equal to, you know, equation of XC is... 1 over omega c, so c is the correct answer. And question number 9, 1 over farad times hertz, hertz is equal to what? Uh, farad is, you know, it is the c, hertz is, in fact, 1 over second. 
So, in fact, it corresponds to the XC equation. You know, XC equation is 1 over omega times C or C times omega, according to that. So, C is farad, farad. Omega is normally radian per second, but radian per second, radian is not, has no dimension. Normally, it must be in 1 over second. So, 1 over second is equal to hertz. Everybody knows, I think, this. So, 1 over farad per hertz is equal to xc, which is ohm. So, xc has a unit of ohm. So, correct answer is c. And question number 10, the capacitance of a capacitor is uh, 100 microfarads, so C. What is the maximum potential difference on its two ends if the maximum value of the charge stored on it is 0.03? This time maximum charge is given, a maximum potential difference is the question. So we know charge, maximum charge is equal to C times V maximum. Because we will calculate V maximum, we should simplify C's. So V maximum is going to be Q. Q is 0.03 clon divided by C is 100 microfarad, but 100 uh, microfarad must be converted to farad by 10 to the power of negative 6. So when we use this, let's do it. 0.03 divided by 100 times 10 to the power of negative 6, close the bracket, 